for the first six months, we all woke up crying. We couldn't sleep. We watched the news like literally for 12 hours every single day. Back here at home in the Queen City tonight, members of Charlotte for Ukraine are marking the anniversary of the invasion with a big rally tomorrow in Romare Bearden Park. This is video from a rally last year. This year, organizers are showcasing an exhibit titled 365 Days of Defending Freedom, which consists of 365 photos taken during the war. Marina Alexandra, who we just heard from, she and her husband are a part of that group. They immigrated to the U.S. about 30 years ago, but say they are still worried about relatives back in their homeland. You know, children don't see their fathers every single day. Starts from a phone call, checking on your relatives, see if they're okay. We are constantly collecting money to sponsor humanitarian projects uh, in Ukraine. Alexandra says there are almost 400 families of Ukrainian refugees living in the Charlotte area. Again, this weekend's rally happening at 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon at Romare Bearden Park. And that's just one group trying to support the people of Ukraine. Many gathered at Davidson College tonight to raise money for medical equipment. Organizers say this event is not only to bring awareness about the war, but to also emphasize the resilience of the Ukrainian people. Tonight's event included a silent art auction, as well as ribbons and bracelets on sale. One of the highlights for many was hearing from those who were there during the first days and months of the war. We spoke with one of them who says she's happy with the support she's seen for her country. I'm really proud to be Ukrainian right now and I'm really proud for people that st they support Ukraine and its people and I really feel that they're in solidarity with the Ukrainian people. We can make a difference that together um, in a small community of Davidson, North Carolina, we can make a difference. Um, we can buy an ambulance and that will not just help somebody in Ukraine, that will save m a lot of lives. Tonight's goal was to raise around $21,000 to cover the costs of a military Humvee vehicle, as well as shipping, fuel, and repairs. When tonight's event started, they had raised about $15,000, which should be enough for a civilian ambulance.